What's going on, all you good people out there? Your two favorite movie critics are back again, and we're here tonight to talk about Zach Braff, his new film he directed, starring Florence Pugh and Morgan Freeman. It's called A Good Person. Way over my head. <laughs> I was thinking if we found like a craft that we like, we could be on Shark Tank. We would be like, hey, sharks. No. I knew you would like that idea. A movie that flew under my radar. Um, you know, I remember Kevin talking about it on the podcast probably six months ago, how it was coming out and didn't really, you know, hit big at the box office or anything. I think it opened in limited theaters. I honestly didn't hear too much about it. And then we were lucky enough to get a review copy uh, sent to us, courtesy of our, our good friends over at Warner Brothers. And uh, I'm glad I checked it out. It was a really good film. I'm the big Zach Braff fan here for Cinefellas, his movies more than his uh, TV shows. But, you know, Garden State being one of my all time favorite movies, favorite mm -hmm. soundtracks. Yes. Wish You Were Here. When, remember seeing that in theater when it came out. Love that. Yeah, another good too. one. Forgot yeah, about it's that. Really, one. really great film. And then, of course, his newest one with his girlfriend, Florence Pugh. I don't know if they're still mm -hmm. dating, but they were dating. Uh, good person, but she basically plays Allison, this character, beautiful young woman, pianist. You know, she's getting married to this this guy she's in love with everything's good in her life and then one tragic day it's a car accident and two people end up passing away which would have been her future family yeah it really really gets intense you know it starts out in a in a uh, you know a nice atmosphere with a, this couple loving couple everything's going right for them you know they you know just starting out their relationship and uh you know one one uh accident you know changes everything just a split second that's all it takes in life to change everything. And that this movie really, you know, highlights that with Allison's character, she goes through a really rough time. Uh, you know, the loss of life happens. We'll say, we're not going to spoil who it is or anything, but you know, something tragic happens and it sends her into a dark spiral and she can't deal with her grief. So, you know, as a lot of people do to deal with these things, they shut down emotionally and they turn to, you know, drugs, uh, prescription painkillers and Allison's case here in Oxycontin. Yeah, they kind of dive into that with that dope TV show that we reviewed on Hulu, same kind of thing, but Oxycontin, how dangerous and how terrible this drug is and how it destroys your life, and that's pretty much what happens here. They fast forward a year after the accident, Allison, full-blown druggy addict, you know, has to take Oxycontins continuously throughout the day. She's dealing with all the aftermath of the accident, physically and mentally, you know, she's still in physical pain and everything you know, emotionally, she's dealing with all that. She's trying to kick the habit. It's not very easy, as we know, as we've seen from documentaries. It's not an easy drug to kick. So she goes through a lot of different phases throughout, you know, the film and her addiction and how she has to overcome that to be a good person. Her mother, played by Molly Shannon of SNL fame, it was good to see her again. She portrayed Allison's mom, who has her own issues. You know, she drinks a lot of wine all the time. She loves Allison, but it's not the best environment for Allison to be able to, you know, deal with uh, her own addictions. So Allison seeks, you know, uh, going to meetings where other addicts are and comes in, uh, you know, and meets Daniel, uh, Morgan Freeman's character. And we find out uh, some things that they, you know, kind of don't not necessarily have a history together, but they are familiar with the same uh, uh, friend circles and it starts this relationship between them where they confide in each other and uh, are able to talk to each other and be really honest about life and what's going on and the addictions. And, you know, it was a really nice relationship for them too. You know, these actors are, are great together. Florence Pugh, just a powerhouse performance here. She really, you know, killed it in this role. I wasn't, you know, I, I didn't expect this. I've seen her in some movies before, but this one really blew me away. Just her portraying this addict. She does a great job in it. And her relationship with Daniel felt really authentic. Morgan Freeman, we haven't seen him in a movie like this in a long time. Not that I can remember. And him playing this, you know, older, you know, grandfather now, but who also was an addict who drank a lot to deal with his trauma. So really the pairing of them together really, you know, moves them both forward in their lives. But as, you know, drug addiction goes, it goes up and down and has its ebbs and flows. You know, it doesn't always get taken care of the first go around. So there's a lot of uh, highs and lows in this movie, uh, but uh, some really great performances. 
another great soundtrack. I like the song choices in this. Hadn't didn't wasn't really familiar with any of the singers or uh, bands in this, but really enjoyed the 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 songs that were chosen by Zach Braff. He has an ear for this kind of thing and knows where to put the music in at the right times and everything. So was impressed with that. And uh, yeah, just you know, by the time the movie ended, I was uh, <laughs> choking up a little bit with how everything settled down. Just how he drove home the point of uh, you know you have to be able to talk to people. You can't keep things bottled in. Absolutely. There's a lot of messages here per usual. And going back to Zach Braff, one, probably one of the most underrated directors. I love him as a director better than an actor. Honestly, he's got such an, yeah. a knack for, you know, the way things are shot and just everything. The music goes along with that scene perfectly. He introduces the general audience to bands you may have never heard of, but it always fits that scene in particular. This one, she's doing all the drugs and she kind of spins around. I love yeah. the camera work there. And the music, the score they added there really elevated that scene. It felt really emotional. You kind of feel like you're going through what she's going through with addiction and trying to overcome that, get out of that black hole. So, you know, it really hits on all the feels. You know, both of us had friends that went through addiction. So you can tell, you know, Zach Breff, you know, was very, had somebody close to him that did drugs, was really familiar with how to portray that and get Florence Pugh to, uh, you know, act that out on screen. She just did a phenomenal job. And uh, really just a great performance and uh, overall great movie. Wasn't expecting to like as much as I did. I mean, and uh, I really did and had a, you know, it's not a really a feel good movie until the very end. It really, you know, takes you on the journey. Uh, it's tough to watch in some, in some certain instances, but it's definitely worth watching, especially from these performances from Florence Pugh and Morgan Freeman. You know, we haven't seen him this good in a while, so it's great seeing him again. Morgan Freeman, kind of the same character in most movies as of late, but you kind of see some more old Morgan Freeman in this performance and see the asshole side of him towards the end of the movie. And, you know, Florence yeah. Pugh, another powerhouse performance. She's always great. She gets better and better in every movie I see her, and she's going to be around for a very long time. I feel because she's just one of those actresses that can evolve and do different things and try anything and really, you know, knock it out of the park. Uh, great ensemble here. Great directing. Zach Braff, another hit for me. Not a great feel good movie, but a really great story and great characters. So we both highly recommend it. So that being said, I'm going to give Zach Braff's a good person, a four out of five Lawrence Pugh hair pieces. And I am going to give a good person a four out of five. Daniel hair pieces. We want to hear what you guys thought of Zach Braff's brand new film, A Good Person. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to click subscribe. Also, check these two wild rascals out as we're reviewing TV and movies all week long on our YouTube channel. And also check us out on our website, cinefellas.com. And make sure to check out our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for all the latest and greatest TV movie news and reviews. That's right. Keep an eye out on this YouTube channel throughout the summer. These two hot dads over here are going to be dropping lots of movie and TV reviews throughout the summer. It's been a hot one thus far. It's only going to get hotter here at Cinefellas. And we are giving away the digital code for a good person next week. So if you guys want a chance to enter into that, just find that video and leave a comment. And, uh, you know, just follow the instructions in the video. It's real simple. Use the hashtag fellas giveaway and you'll be entered in to win this. And we're going to be giving this movie away. Uh, you guys will want to check it out if you haven't already. So that's right. These two Wanderlust Cine fellows are going to be signing out until the next movie review. Cheers! Cheers.